is something you never, ever want to do, okay? Not if you have plans on ever seeing this girl again. If you get in a fight, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, one night stand, teacher, whatever, right? You never want to do this. Burning the bridge. Okay, write it down. Burning the bridge, if you do this, you will, she will always see you as an option. Always, 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 okay? If a breakup goes down smoothly, you're always an option. Always opinion. I can't even spell. Option. Okay? You're always an option. The reason is, is because when we go back to the instability term that I talked about earlier about an hour ago, this is showing that you that you have the ability not to burn any bridges, you don't freak out on her, you don't yell at her, you're chill, you're calm, you're cool, you're collected, you give it some space, the relationship ends, give it some space, she's gonna remember you as the motherfucking cool guy. Why? Guys don't get up, caught up in their emotions, okay? Mature fucking men, the ones that are the most attractive, they don't fucking yell, they don't scream, they don't fucking cry to girls, they don't bitch, okay? They're chill, okay? They're chill. Now, that don't mean we're not human. Once in a while, we're gonna snap, we're gonna, Arr! okay, we're gonna bark, Arr! Arr! Ah! we don't like that, okay? We don't like that. Girls don't like that shit, okay? We gotta be calm, we gotta be cool, and we have to be, as I've said numerous times, indifferent, okay? Indifferent. If you're indifferent, you don't, fuck, she don't, you don't care. You don't give a fuck. Everything's chill. If she leaves, whatever, fine, it's okay. We get it, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you're indifferent, you don't fucking care. But the thing is, when you're indifferent, you don't care, you're not gonna judge her for trying to come back to you, okay? Any girl, she goes off, you know, girl you might be hooking up with, you might not get in a relationship with her, you might not want a relationship. You guys have been seeing each other banging for a month, okay? She runs off, finds another dude, dates a dude for two years, the relationship doesn't work out because 90% of guys don't know what the fuck they're doing. Who is she gonna come back to? The chill motherfucking dude who never burned the bridge, okay? Every dude who gets in a relationship, they all hate their fucking ex-girlfriend or every girl hates their ex-boyfriend because they burned the fucking bridge. Okay? You burn the fucking bridge, you're never gonna really hear from the girl again. Okay? You start crying, you just even really want to talk to a guy who's really too emotional after a fucking breakup. Okay? Because the next thing that she assumes when she reaches out to that lonely motherfucker is he's gonna try to get her back and that puts an immense amount of pressure on her. Okay? There's an immense, okay? Everyone here, there's an immense amount of pressure on a girl who finds, is talking to a needy guy. Okay? The needy guy wants he wants and he's gonna strive he's like a needy little fucking car salesman who's trying to get you buy a car he wants and he needs it because he needs you to get that sale because he wants to make more money okay the girl when she sees that from the guy i need you back oh baby i need you i miss you i miss you please dude i'm telling you she wants nothing to do with it it puts pressure on her that's why when a car salesman is so fucking desperate to make a sale he calls after one day hey what do you think about the offer what do you think and then he calls again, he didn't, he, you know, you don't get back to him, but he calls back, he's, he wants to know, and he's, he's, he's really thinking about it. The last thing you want to do is call him back, because he's going to fucking push you, okay, to buy the fucking car. If you are in a relationship, and she leaves, and you cry, and you cry, and you cry, and you yell, and you do all this shit, she's scared. She's scared to reach out to you. Okay, she is terrified because the first thing that's gonna happen in her mind is based on history is you're gonna try to get back with her. This is why this will prevent, okay? It will prevent girls from reaching out for months, months and years and maybe never hear from her again if you show this crappy fucking needy little bitch behavior, okay? But if you're cool and you calm, you're collected, even if she runs away years later, it could be years, it doesn't fucking matter. She still feels comfortable getting in touch with you because you never burned any fucking bridges. I'll tell you this, if you never burn a bridge out of like even a month relationship, you don't burn any bridges, you might have been a little weird on a couple of dates or something, but you didn't burn the bridge, you're always gonna have an opportunity. You'll always have an opportunity, okay? 
Because you weren't, you didn't come off as that psycho. You didn't come off as a sociopath. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. So when she, you know, you never know what's going to happen in the future. She might run into you again. She might run into you again. And then all of a sudden she thinks back, oh, you know, you've been chill. You're cool. And then she sleeps with you. And all of a sudden she wants to give you another chance. Okay. It's because you didn't burn the bridge. But if you yell and bitch and you do all this shit, you're left hopeless. Okay. So this right here. Remember this for the rest of your life. No matter what. I don't care what fight you're in. I don't care if she fucking cheated on you. I don't care anything. I don't care how bad she treated you or how poorly she treated you. Do your best to never burn the bridge. Because I'm telling you, you want to have as many options as you can in the future. It's just like job hunting, okay? If you're job hunting, you want to have as many options as you can, okay? Because you want to find the best job. This no matter what, you want to keep her as an option at some point in your life, okay? Now, maybe you might never need her as an option, but it's still important to have her because you want as much options as we can. We like going to restaurants that have numerous different options. This is why diners are so fucking fantastic, because you can get a bacon cheeseburger, you can get an omelet, you can get lamb, you can get scallops, okay? There are so many different options, from ice cream to steak, that you have, and that's why people go, because, you know, I want to choose what's most appealing to me. The more girls that you have available and you don't burn the bridges with, it's always better. You want as many options as you can in life, any aspect of life. You want as many friends as you can to hit up. You want as many women that you can to hit up job opportunities, contracts, uh, living locations, whatever you want. It all comes down to having options. Never burn the bridge, no matter what. And I'm telling you, never burn a bridge, she'll never go, ever. Okay? So.